In the revised version of Demigods and Semidevils, Jin Yong added to the ancestry of the Murong family, mentioning a great general from the end of the Five Dynasties, Murong Yangchao, who had an intimidating reputation. The Murong family even had a martial arts genius, Murong Longcheng, who created the world's unmatched martial arts skill, Doge Wanxing Yi, which became renowned worldwide. In this story, Murong Yangchao is portrayed as a warlord of the Five Dynasties, which isn't surprising because the Murong family is part of the Xianbei tribe, one of the Five Barbarians. However, many branches of the Xianbei tribe, after establishing several Yang states, were almost annihilated. But a lucky branch, the descendants of the famous Yang general Murong Ku, escaped to northern Wei and carried forward the family's glory. In the generations that followed, there was even a famous general, Murong Xiaozong, who defeated the cosmic general. Like his ancestor Murong Ku, he was listed as a famous general in the temple of Marshal Vela, his existence glorifying his family. At this time, due to hundreds of years of sinicization, conflicts between the Hu and the Han had significantly reduced. Later, there appeared a Murong Sanzang, not a monk, but a founding hero of the Sui dynasty. By the end of the Five Dynasties, another figure, Murong Yangjiao, appeared, who was the right-hand man of the founder of the Northern Song Dynasty and was addressed as a brother by Zhao Kuangyin. He assisted Zhao Kuangyin in completing the Chen Bridge military mutiny, becoming a founding hero of the Song Dynasty. Later, the Murong family and Zhao family became in-laws, with the descendants of the Murong family holding many ministerial positions in the Song Dynasty. Therefore, the Murong family in demigods and semidevils should be from the Northern Song Dynasty, enjoying endless wealth and honor. Jin Yong, after reading history, also found this contradiction, so in the revised version, he wrote the Murong family of Gusu as a branch of Murong Yangchao. However, there is a problem here. Although Murong Yangchao is indeed not a descendant of Murong Ku, his ancestors split from the Xianbei Murong family before the founding of the Yang state, establishing the Murong Tuyu Hun. Later, they merged with the Shatuo people, and the Xianbei lineage became very thin. In historical books, Murong Yangchao is directly stated to be a Shatuo. The descendants of these irrelevant Murong Tuyu Hun, the Shatuo people, who often clamor to read Xianbei books, and restore the great Yang country. Therefore, from this perspective, the Murong family in Demigods and Semidevils is not entirely the wealthy and honored image created by Jin Yong. They also have their own confusion and struggle. Especially Murong Fu, whose lofty but incompetent character and lack of virtue highlight this point. Murong Fu dreams of restoring the former glory of Yang State, and he has a deep love and respect for the history of the Xianbei tribe, which shows his ambition. However, this ambition seems like a mirage in his actual actions. His pride and incompetence are not only manifested in his martial arts, but also in his interactions with others. He thinks that no one can match his martial arts, but in fact, his martial arts are not outstanding. This arrogant attitude makes him often arrogant and antagonistic when dealing with others. His incompetence is manifested not only in his martial arts, but also in his character. Murong Fu lacks humanity and righteousness, often disregarding the feelings of others for his own benefit, which has caused him to make enemies and even create conflicts with those close to him. For example, he even sees his own cousin, Wang Yuyen, as a tool to pursue his ideals. Murong Fu's behavior not only makes people feel that he lacks humanity and righteousness, but also makes people feel his foolishness. He stubbornly adheres to his ideals, ignoring the limitations of reality, which eventually leads him to a disastrous end. Therefore, from the actions of Murong Fu, we can see that the Murong family in Demigods and Semidevils is not entirely a wealthy and honored image, they also have their own confusion and struggles. These confusions and struggles are caused by their own personalities and actions. In them, we can see a lofty but incompetent, clumsy and inhumane side, which gives us a deeper understanding of them.